Hi there, let me show you how quickly we can spin out an AI powered chatbot for any website just via prompting. It's all about the data button agents taking care of this whole process and we'll just build a full stack web app via prompting and conversationally. So first I'll write down my idea. And once we create the generate app, it created a unique name, like a side bot, and it welcome us that what we need to do. We can brainstorm our ideas with this uh, particular AI agent, or if we already have a plan, we can right there, go into building the Python endpoints, the backend, and also once we finish the endpoint, we go and build our uh, our React UI, which is our front end. I think we already have a plan. So it's AI power chatbot for websites. In the back end, I have decided that we will have the web scraping extract the whole content from any URL. Have a large language model power chatbot, which will have the content from this whole web scraped URL and also our prompt and pass it to the large language model, which will generate responses. So as we have a back end, we also need to complement that with a front end. The front end will have a text input box under any URL. And based on that URL, when there is a fetch context button is pressed, this web scraping, this web scraping endpoint, this backend will be triggered. And then we'll have a chatbot where we do the whole conversation with that whole content. We need two backend for it or two fast API endpoints for it and we need a very simple UI. So let's create the fast API endpoint. One of them, as we know, is our uh, web scraping. I just straight away go and say the plan is uh, to our input is nothing but the URL and uh, output is the context of the website. Based on it, our capability agent will now update the plan. So it will guide you through. Fantastic. We have a first step outline scraping our website URL as input and the website's content as the output in specific elements to scrape that will help us. It's just, you just be honest with the whole AI agent. It will guide you. Could you provide a sample URL to use in our prototype? Yeah. Let's do it. So I have this block from Sam Altman. Uh, it's super cool. Uh, let's see. Let's see if, if it could do it. As you can see, in a Jupyter-like environment, each and every code is getting generated, throwing out the whole output out there. This is super cool. This is what we believe it. Our code is there. We believe what's happening under the hood. And now it's giving us a comprehensive view of the web pages context. This is something which make us trust what the AI agency is doing. That's why in data button, we have this stuff now. How do you need to move forward with this approach or is there anything else you would like to adjust or add? I think this is super cool. We proceed with it. And once we proceed, our end goal is always to uh, make a fast API endpoint, which will be connected, as I mentioned, with our front end. Let's see, let's see. Uh, it's trying to brief, give a brief overview of what it will perform so that we know or we learn from it. If you're new to coding, this kind of pseudo code, it helps us a lot to understand. Any question? I just hit the proceed button. You can just ask a lot of questions as well. Whole endpoint is now created. All these 20 lines of code is created by the AI agent. And if you notice carefully, the packages, the responsible packages, maybe the uh, the BS4, the beautiful soup package is not there. The request uh, package is not there. It's installing that dependency as well. And it created this whole endpoint for us. Super cool, right? So meanwhile, when it installed this package, let's, let's try to build the other capability which we already chalked out. So the other capability is uh, AI uh, chatbot or AI chat. And I create this capability now which will complement or which will take the whole context and the prompt as I mentioned before. So now it's sketching a random plan which it thinks it suits the best on the name which we gave. No, uh, what we need here is pass both of them uh, together to the large language model. Let's use OpenAI, you know, OpenAI is super powerful. It has this GPT-4, GPT-3.5, and GPT-3.5 is super powerful to do all this task, right? So let's see what plan it comes up with. We have a new plan, updated plan, receive context and prompt from user, cool. Pass context and prompt to the LLM. We'll use OpenAI API to pass the inputs to get to a large language model. Uh, the 
response from LLM must be in a string so that it's um, easy to uh, easy to dump at the UI I think uh, that's fair enough so we make our life easier and we uh, mentioned this to our data button agents the capability agent now where we're working so that it can update the plan accordingly and more it updates the more it uh, make a cohesive uh, API endpoint so which is well versed with our UI the better it is for us we don't need to debug it later if we proceed to prototype do we have an open API key stored as secret this is very crucial we saw one of the part where our agent could install packages the other part is the secret management so our agent is equipped with installing packages or uh, maintaining the secret environment this is important when you are trying to build a full stack app let me uh, pass you the open ai api key so i'll just quickly generate one and pass it to it i just pass the open api key as you can see so i just asked that want you to add the open api key uh, and it said that uh, it has already uh, did it i mean if you want to do it again all you do is just say that you want to replace that it does it very uh, properly now we are writing this uh, whole open AI endpoint it is aware of the latest endpoints from open AI. this is super cool okay and you can see it's using the gpt 3.5 turbo and it's using all the necessary arguments like the messages the model everything is defined out there uh, i think it something which is missing out here is the open api key so it will debug itself you see that smart it is to debug self execute the code would you like me to fix and try running the code again i would say proceed it realized that it has made a mistake super it's your, it's your coding buddy it knows where it's going wrong and it executes and as you can see it's trying to execute the particular completion out here and it did it pretty well updating the final plan don't uh, move on to prototyping the final step uh super i don't think i need anything else out here just uh, create the fast api endpoint as i mentioned previously also the end goal is creating a capability with a fast API endpoint which is basically the router which gets connected to our front end each of them each the web scraping the ai chat but they're nothing but an api route which will get triggered when you click this particular button like when you create fetch context the web scraping api which will get triggered so that's why we are now aiming to create this endpoint as you see uh, it says that the first API endpoint for a chat boot has been successfully created and saved uh let me check it out here you see everything has been done it has created two input one is the context other is a prompt and a response which will begin in string each and every stuff is done out here and that's all we have both our capabilities the web scraping and the ai chat is ready now now all we need to do is move into the ui part just go to the use in ui and you will see a whole blank canvas with a default uh, let's say an app and you can easily just start writing your code out here it's super easy okay uh writing the ui design it's all about the design of the interaction the flow everything this ui builder agent now we move to the builder agent we were all this time in the capability agent now we move to the ui agent it is aware of the design it is aware of the interaction the flow it will now breach these capabilities with your ui that powerful it is will now build the ui just by prompting so let me prompt this way uh we uh, need uh, a text input box uh, for the url uh, from the end uh, user button called as uh, fetch data for triggering now this is the crucial part if we press hash out here we see our endpoints which we already created by now response from the uh, web scraping uh, endpoint needs to be dumped at the ui make sure to have a toggle button if the toggle is on if let, let me write that also if toggle is on uh, then the end user wants super 
I think it's very clear enough. It's in the human natural language, how we are telling it to the UI. And we just pass this prompt to our capability builder. I think this is a good start, a solid start from where we can already dive into building the UI. And this is from where we will uh, slowly start to iterate on our UI. Let's see what it comes up with. A text input box, as I mentioned in the prompt, a phase data button, level phase data, perfect. A toggle button to control whether the script data should be displayed or not. A uh, display area where the script data will be shown. This I didn't mention, but our UI builder is pretty smart to understand that that's what is necessary for our UI of this whole URL place. And we have the phase data option as well. Now let's look into the code once. We need to implement the phase data. So it seems like that place, it escaped as a placeholder with an actual API for the web scripting endpoint. What we'll do is we'll just say that, uh, uh, please, uh, try this way. Let's see if it actually works or not. It's now have updated with the center aligned of the whole card. As you can see, implemented the phage data API endpoint or not. I'll just quickly go there. This is the key point. If it has imported the brain, so brain is basically calling all the capabilities which you have uh, built until now. And it is implementing this brain, as you can see, the scrap website out here, the website, and we just put it here. We hit the phage data. You should always look at the console. Uh, you can see the whole data is now scraped through. Let's see if it works or not. Now you can see the whole stuff here. Although it doesn't look that well, uh, but we can always change it. And let's uh, now implement chat bubble. Intentionally mentioning this, I'm prompting this that so that it uses the Chakra UI uh, chat bubble, which is very cool and very sleek. Include a send button. That's important. Now again, I'm pressing the hashtag and what I'm indicating to the UI builder is to use this AI chat. When the chat, when the send button is clicked, the AI chat uh, endpoint, the chat bubble, that's how I imagined when I was uh, trying to decide how I would make this app. And that's what I mentioned uh, to the to the prompt as well. If something came up. I'm not sure what's wrong out here, but we can already see uh, some errors. So I'll just click the uh, debug option. So everything is out there. The only issue is uh, the chat bubble is located within the card. Uh, so that's something, well, it will be great if we can just put it down somewhere, right hand side. Uh, bottom of the app, not within the card. So I think I just, I started a new uh, thread. You can just start as many threads as you want. If your chat becomes longer, it's better that you start with a new thread. Write this, that can you make the chat bubble outside the card and at the bottom right hand side, otherwise everything is super good. Please implement as it is with this, with that small change. And uh, that's the only prompt which I'll ask. Let's see, it has made that small change and a subtle change. Uh, let's see if everything's working or not. I will just quickly put this console down and press it here. Seems like that's what I wanted. Yeah, so so let's let's test it with uh, with this blog post here. And I will just press uh, this here, fetch the data. Always look at the console. Whenever there is an API endpoint call, it will all come up here, okay? Uh, this is not the best UI, but yeah, it's, it seems like everything has been scrapped. I'll just, Quickly try this also. Uh, summarize uh, this content for me, okay? And when I press this, it's always, as I mentioned, it's always better to check this console. I'll clean it and I hit the send button. Let's see if it's working or not. It's sending there and there is an error out here. I think if you see this error, it's mainly because we have we have went beyond the context, uh, the token size. Uh, so yeah, we need to increase the increase the token size or the context size. Uh, that's super important when you're handling with uh, uh, large language models so using GPT 3.5 Turbo, right? Uh, we can use this particular model, which has context window of 16,000. Uh, so let's use this particular model out here. I won't prompt anymore. I'll just go out here and here the model, which is defined, as you can see, I'll just paste this model out here. We fetch the data. We always see the API endpoint. We can also like see the whole stuff out here, the script data. And I will just make it uh, uh, maximize our chat. I say, uh, please uh, summarize it for me. And I'll just make the send button and let's see if it works or not. Uh, let's quickly check also. 
So it's, it's sending uh, an API call to the AI chat, which you created. And here we go. It gives the whole stuff. We can minimize. It's a collapsible one as we asked for it. And it works super well. Uh, tell me who wrote this uh, a blog. Okay. Uh, let's see. I just hit the send button uh, and it's sending it. And the blog you have shared is written by Sam Altman. So you see everything out here is working as we expected. Of course, we can uh, implement a lot of stuff at the UI. But for time being, for time being, I think this is super cool. You can always edit the entire code out here. So what we did all together. So we started from creating this backend, which is nothing but our capabilities. Our capabilities are our backend. Build the entire, entire endpoints of web scripting and AI chat. And finally, we went back to our UI and we prompted the whole stuff. We defined kind of queries to our data buttons, UI assistant, and we say that this is how we want, this is how we envision our app to be. And none of the code was written by me. It's all written and generated by this AI agent. You can tweak it if you know how to code in React. It's super cool. Give a code snippet in, like just, just paste a code snippet out there. It works like a charm. I hope this will be super useful to build a chatbot on the top of any websites. Cheers.